So how does it feel to be honored here tonight? Oh, it's so wonderful to be here. I, I, um, I was just talking to Robin, who's been with the organization since the beginning, and I have been with this, I've been working with this organization on and off for 20 years. I cannot believe it. So it's really, yes, so it's really lovely to be here in, in this capacity, and I'm super grateful and really honored, yeah. And you have film premiering, and we were talking to Jay earlier about you. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to see him. And he really teased it very well. I'm very intrigued. Tell me about, tell me about the film. I'm sure he teased it so much better than I will. Um, but it's, I love this movie. I haven't actually seen it, but I had such, we had such a great time making it, and it was such a, a beautiful piece of material um, because it's, it, it all takes place during a dinner. It's called Beatrice at Dinner. And, um, you know, it really just becomes this conversation about uh, the way we think about each other and deal with each other as human beings. And it kind of looks at um, greed and how greed can affect people. And uh, Salma Hayek plays this amazing character whose life has been really impacted by uh, corporate greed. So um, it's a very timely film as well. And how has your Sundance experience been so far? Oh, it's been incredible. I was at the march yesterday, and how was that? And that was so unbelievable. You know what a what a thrill to be a part of that day yesterday, and it was wonderful to do it here at Sundance. Um, and you could really feel the energy of people around the world protesting peacefully, and it was it was great. Absolutely fantastic. Now we focus a lot on health at New You. Do you have health advice that you would give your younger fans? Or your younger self? Oh, health advice that I would give my younger fans and my younger. Um, I would say, uh, you know, honestly, I'd say the best advice would be know your body, know what your body needs, um, particularly when it comes to food. Everybody, be, everybody, body responds to food differently, and so really start to know what works for you, what doesn't work for you, and then and then respect that and, and try to live by that. And But th then on the flip side, know yourself well enough to know that you need to give yourself treats and you need to make yourself, you know, it's just all about balance, really. Everything's always about balance and that's true for health and that's true for well-being and all of it. And lastly, I have to ask, your skin looks great. What do you do to take care of it? Oh, well, thank you. Um, what do I do? I mean, I also think I think food has a lot to do with that, but I also think I, I, the other thing I was going to mention, and I think meditation has a lot to do with it too. I I'm a big believer, you know. I think wrinkles are a byproduct of stress and lack of sleep, and these are all things, by the way, that I fully am experiencing. But at the same time, I do think that they think that things like meditation and um, just treating yourself again, going back to how you treat your body makes a huge difference as far as that goes. Um, I mean, I, in terms of skincare, I have become increasingly conscious of using things on my skin that um, don't have toxic, uh, uh, toxic ingredients. And particularly what I love, my, my friend Christy Coleman started a uh, company called Beauty Counter. And I'm, I'm almost exclusively using Beauty Counter now, and it's, it's fantastic, yeah.